hello guys so in this video i am going to show you how to create a rate pop up in your game so here i have just opened a blank project in unity and let's change the build setting you can select android or ios and i am going to select android so just click on android and switch platform and the project which i have created is a 2d project uh, it doesn't matter which project it is it can be 3d 2d doesn't matter now the portrait it is a portrait mode and the resolution is 480 by 800 so what we will do is we will create a ui so click on create and select ui and let's create a canvas and i want the camera this screen space camera so that our canvas will be of same size as our camera uh, pixel perfect the next thing is we don't want constant pixel size we want scale with screen size and here we give our resolution which is 480 into 800 480 into 800 okay now let's save the scene uh, let's name it rate pop up okay the next thing is let's create a panel so ui and let's select on panel and let's name it rate panel okay and let's radio uh, we don't want the alpha it should be transparent like this and let's create an image here and let's increase the size uh, change the image shape or size let's let it be 400 okay the next thing is okay let's give it a text a uh, title text You should just align it on center both on horizontal and vertical axis and it should be best fit let's make it 80 so the text will be increased with different screen size okay the next thing is creating buttons so let's create ui button and one will be yes one okay let's Okay. let's change its sprite I think this one will be better let's name it red button and let's change the text and we want best fit and a rate let's let's change its color also let's make it little green and one more button just right click and duplicate and it will be no or a later let's call it later later and change the text later and let's change the color also let's make a little red okay and let's give some again give some stars or something like that let's make it preserve expect ratio and okay let's duplicate it again duplicate let's keep it like this again okay now okay and let's change its color to yellow 
Uh, that's looking something nice. Okay. Now let's create a script. Don't want that error. Just ignore that. It's little bug in Unity. Right click create and create a C sharp script. And let's name it rate pop up. Okay. And let's open it. So depending on your system, it can open in mono behavior or in visual studio. Mine is visual studio. We don't need this two. So we can just remove them. Okay. Now the first thing we need is we need the reference to our game, this panel so that we can activate and deactivate it as we need. So let's create a variable, a public variable, public game object and name it red panel. Okay. 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 Now the next thing variable we need is uh, after how many game overs we should show the rate panel so it will be an integer so public int uh, we will name it show rate after game over and this variable can be modified from inspector and it will be a reference for checking how many games we have played and then depending on this we will show it if our games played is more than the this variable now the next public variable we need is the string and it will be the link of your play store or app store so just name it public string and store link so here let me give some okay now after that we need a private int private int rated now we are going to use player prefs to store some data in our device so if you don't know about player prefs so you can just google it player prefs unity and you can just go to scripting api so if you see here in player prefs we can just store float int and string so there is no boolean here so what we are going to do is we are going to use int and if int is 0 then it means not rated uh, it means game is not rated and if it's 1 then game is rated so this way we will check if it's rated or not now the next variable we need is games played so we need to keep track of how many games the player has played so we will create a private int and name it games played initially it will be zero okay now in start so what we will do is we will check if game is rated or not so if rated is equal to zero that means not now this means game not rated so if game is not rated then we will increase our games played so games played plus plus so we will increase it by one and then what we will do is we will create a player pref and we will store the number of games played in it so player pref dot will name it set integer so we need to set the integer and you can see here we, when we set integer we need two variables one is the name of that player pref and uh, value so the name which we are going to give is games player and you can name it anything you want and the value which you are going to pass is games player okay now we will check if games player is greater than show rate after game over so we will check if this integer has exceed our limit which we have assigned here then we will show our rate panel so first thing we will do is we will reset our games player equal to zero 
uh, then what we will do is we will save this again in player pref or let's do one thing just cut and paste it down so we don't have to write this code two times and the next thing we will do is we will in this if loop so if this condition is true that that means the game played is more than our limit then we will reset the game split and we will show our rate panel so rate panel dot set active true okay and this is to store the save the value the next thing is we don't need update here okay so here actually we need two more things now this code is just checking if our game if we have rated or not and then increasing games played and doing this code but we also need to check if we have any value stored in player pref for rated so we will create a new player pref and what we'll do is we'll name it rated is equal to player pref dot get in rated so here what we are doing is we are getting a value from this player pref and assigning it to this one and then we and again games play is equal to we will what will just copy it and this will be get in so what we are going doing here is we are getting the value from this player pref and then setting it here so that whenever we restart it we keep track of we keep track of these two variables and we can then just check this code so if rated is one let's say that the player has rated then this code will not be executed now let's now let's create a button methods so we want a method for our rate button so public void rate button now whenever the player clicks on rate button uh, we will make rated equal to 1 then we will save this value in our player pref so let's say player pref dot set int now remember the name which you have used must be same uh, everywhere so here also rated and value is rated okay the next thing is we will show the or uh, we will take our player to the store or the link which is provided application dot open url and store link okay and we need to deactivate the rate panel so we will say rate panel dot set active false okay so we have our rate button method the next thing we want is our later button method so public void later button and here we have to do nothing we are just uh, just deactivate another eight panel that's it okay so let's assign the values okay okay so uh, let's attach uh, the script to main camera and just track the rate panel to the field of rate panel and show read after three okay that's fine that's fine and let's assign the method to the buttons and let's drag the main camera so for rate it's a rate pop-up rate button and for later it's rate later okay now there is one issue and that's not an issue actually we need to restart this level again and again so you may not need to do that in your game because the game always restarts whenever the game is over i will just create a button here just for this thing a button and let's drag the rate panel down and deactivate it we don't need it 
let's increase this button I'm just creating it so that I can restart this level again and again that's it restart button and let's name it to restart okay and let's select paste fill out and done now let's create a method for the restart button so public void restart button okay and we need a scene manager here so just copy this dot scene management okay and what we will do is we'll call scene manager scene manager dot load scene and we need to see uh, i mean we need to load the select uh, the current scene so what we'll do is scene manager dot get the active scene and it's build index and just we will restart it as it let's save it and go to your unity okay and let's assign the method to this button it pop up and restart button you don't need to do this it's just for my preference that's it and i think now let's go to field file build settings and add open scene okay so let's try it uh, let's select main camera so we can keep track and uh, let's go to debug mode we don't need this so that we can see this thing okay so gameplay is one and rated is also one how can it be let me check uh, let's see what we did wrong okay rated right again layer Let's start doing it all. Okay, so rated is okay, guys. So I don't know what was going wrong, but uh, the value was already stored in this rated um, player pref, and that was getting stored here. Uh, which should not be happening but I just deleted all the player preps which was stored back and I just tried it again and now the rated value is 0 so let's try it now ok let's start and you can see the rated is 0 so it means not the game is not rated and game speed is 2 let's restart restart and you see you see the panels pops up whenever we exceed our this limit you can set this limit in an inspector and if i click on later the panel gets deactivated and let's try it clicking again and again and again after three game overs we see the panel and this time let's click on the rate and uh, the link which we provide gets open so guys i think this and you can see here uh, rated is now 1 so if I click as many times as I can the rate panel doesn't pop up so so guys in this way you can apply a rate pop up to your game pretty easily and okay so thank you guys see you in the next video bye